All right. Well, welcome everybody. This is um, Pilates Rounds. I'm Zena. I'm from Synergy Plus in Santa Fe, California. And I've got a bunch of lovely people joining me today. And um, Kim is going to be demonstrating some mat things, and I'm going to let her introduce herself and the focus of what she's working on. And the whole idea behind the Pilates Rounds is to bring ideas, thoughts, questions, and uh, let us work through them together as a group. So, Kim, thank you very much for volunteering this week, and I'm going to hand it off to you. That's it? I thought you were going to tell us something else. No? Oh, yeah. I was supposed to give you a tidbit, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, you can do it at the end if you want. Okay, no, I can give you my tidbit in the beginning. Okay, here we go. My tidbit. So this week, for myself, I've been really focusing on where do you put your shoulders? That's been my big focus this week. The reason that I came up with that as a focus is because two reasons. Some people are so tight that they don't know how to get their shoulders back. Getting your shoulders back is part of good posture, but people always tell me, but I don't know where to put my shoulders. Do I go here? Do I go here? And some people can't get there because of tightness or weakness. So I've been focusing a lot on getting people into the right position with their shoulders. So one of my favorite exercises that I've been doing this week is actually with a TheraBand. So I think Kim asked you guys at TheraBand, if you have a TheraBand, grab it, that would be great. If you don't have it, you can actually do it without or find a long sleeve sweatshirt of some kind. And you can grab that TheraBand. And if you come up to standing, actually, um, I'm taking the band and I'm just going to drop it on the floor. And so the first thing that I like to do here is have them stand and wrap uh, the hand into the band here. So with the, that standing and wrapping hands in, I can just let it, if I just sit here for a minute, I can let it sort of sink me downward. So meaning sink my arms downward, my shoulders downward. And then I'll turn sideways so you can see a little bit. And then I'm going to roll the shoulders onto my back without a lot of stress in the shoulders, but just enough to roll the shoulders on the back here. And then I'm going to let them open up just a little bit and almost even turn the palms forward. So if I rotate the arms from the palms forward, my shoulders end up squeezing lightly onto my back. So this coming up here, shoulders down, but not forced. So the other part of it is not over crunching. So in this tall position, I can really engage through the, from the floor, through the inner thighs, pelvic floor, low belly, chest lifts, head lifts, and shoulders roll onto them. So I'm, I've been having them start here and then take one leg forward off the band into a lunge. Hold that, not changing the shoulders or the chest, stomachs tight. No arch, your tail is long. And depending on what size of lunge, so more advanced would be kind of a bigger lunge. And then taking here and letting the arms just lift behind and then back down. So just a little lift, and it's going to depend on flexibility and strength how far those arms are going to go. And so this is just to help open the shoulders and then back and lift and then back and lift and then back. And then I'll have them step back on the band with two feet, switch to the other side, doing the same thing, shoulders on the back, and then going up and down, and up and down, good, up and down, and then up and down. And then coming back onto the band there with the balls of the feet on the band. So then the Posture again, fixing from the low belly upward. Shoulders are getting pulled down by the band and then just going up on the toes. So I love going up on toes for posture reasons because that really engages through from the legs, through the belly, through the head. And this way my shoulders are just being encouraged to sit down. And what you want to watch out for is that the shoulders don't come forward. So if that's the case, just rolling those palms open while you go up. And then slowly down, trying to stay super light on those heels, going up and super slow down and going up 
and slow down and up super slow down and then up and slow down and then just stay there with more weight on the balls of the feet than the heels roll the shoulders back and stretch the head and then unroll that band or let go and then see if you can just maintain that position so it should grow you up activate through and then have the shoulders in a good place for them to at least start with so that is my tidbit for your shoulders today <laughs> okay. all right so while we're standing everybody grab your band and stay standing and i I'll, I'll talk a little bit about um, you turning it over to me. Sorry, I'm jumping yes, right okay, in. Please. Yeah. So um, I don't know if um, so you can see my head. I'll come down. So my my background. Um, most of you know. I know everybody here except Allison and Patricia. I don't know you. So I'll just really quick. My background is not a dancer, not a not an athlete necessarily. Um, my background is in the corporate world. And um, I transitioned to my second career uh, in four years ago as to, to take the instructor training. But um, so consequently, given my lifestyle and the exercises that I also have liked to do over the years are things that like running and, and biking and stuff like that, that really kind of is work and tightens the muscles. So consequently, due to my lifestyle and where I'm at, in, I'm at in my life, I'm always working on those shoulders, always trying to bring the rounded shoulders, you know, um, all kinds of stuff around that. And also I'm blessed with really tight muscles and hamstrings and legs everywhere else. So, so I have the opposite problem that a lot of my coworkers have, which is the uh, hypermobility. I, I don't, I can't even, I can't even go there. I have no idea what that's like. So, so I wanted to share like most of the, the exercises we we know all these exercises and these are the things that I often do for myself and I wanted to share a little bit about how it feels being really tight because a lot of our clients are more like me and why I've chosen to do my exercises on the roll or my hip my stretches on the roller or why some of the other ones are difficult for me and someone like me. So with that, I learned something, and I'm going to stand up because you don't need to see my head anymore, um, that just taking the TheraBand, something I've been doing, and laying it across my thighs and getting just a little bit of a, a little bit of tension on the band and then dropping my hands down by my side like I would for chest expansion and then just gently pulling the TheraBand, just very much like chest expansion. And then turning my palms towards uh, the front, you know, towards the front of my body in the same way that Zaina was demonstrating. So this is just another little tool I've been using in the classes to get people to see if they can't drop the shoulders down and pull back in the same way because they're all pretty used to doing chest expansion. So that's why I've been emulating that. Um, and I wasn't going to start here. I wasn't even going to do this. But since we're standing, I thought it was a good place to start. <laughs> so just a couple more times. Just pull back. Turn your palms. And now the, the, one of the tricks here for me and people like me is to not start to, not to, is to keep my neck loose, right? Not tense my neck. So I'll often cue and I'll do that now. Find length in that neck, right? Right. Pull the shoulder blades down and the top of the head up. And just two more times. Really light tension, pull. Arms are straight, coming behind you, sort of towards, the, towards your hips. And then one more time, pull back. Excellent. All right, so now we'll go to what I was thinking we'd do, which is we're gonna go down to the floor, grab your roller, and we'll do a little thoracic mobilization because we love that and we can't go get massages right now so we have to do this these kinds of things so take the roller and put it underneath your your back around where your bra strap or shoulder blades tips of the shoulder blades and then bring your hands interlace your fingers behind your head 
like fully supporting your head and neck. And then if you like, go ahead and lift your hips up and bend your knees more. Extend over the roller as you bend the knees. Straighten the knees a little bit and come back and forth. All right, just back and forth. I do this every night. Um, every night. Never fails. Me and the cat. So back and forth. Really opening up. You can br bring the roller all the way up to the tops of your shoulders if you like. Or you can isolate in the, just the thoracic region. Usually don't bring it down into the lumbar spine area because I don't really need to do that there. So, yep, just back and forth a few more times. So good. And then go ahead and set your hips down and then just lean over if this feels good. Find a spot where you're particularly tight and maybe your hips aren't all the way down and just Support that head and neck, and go ahead and stretch over, open the chest. Maybe go ahead and um, lean from left to right, right? Massaging a little bit more, a few more of those muscles. Good. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and come off the roller in that direction, and then to follow with the opening of the chest and shoulders, we're going to come back on the roller, tail at one end, head at the other end. Okay, we all know this sequence very well or some variation of it. All right, and lay down on the roller. Make sure that your head is fully supported. Right, hands down on the floor to start. Feet flat on the floor, knees about hip width apart. And from here, I'd like to take a couple breaths for us to take a couple breaths in our neutral spine. It feels so nice to have the roller underneath. You can really feel the positioning of the spine. So on, take an inhale and then exhale. Drop your belly down without going into a flat back. And then inhale again. Drop the belly down. Let your shoulders sink down towards the floor, chest is open, inhale and exhale, just one more breath here, and exhale again, all right, staying in the neutral spine, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, fingertips pointed up towards the ceiling, arms super straight, on the inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, on the exhale, drop those shoulder blades around the roller. Good. Just a couple shoulder slaps. Inhale, up. Exhale. Drop. Mobilize those shoulder blades around the roller. Open up your chest. Up and down again. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. From here, I'm going to remind myself again about the back of the neck being long. Arms straight up towards the ceiling. And now we're going to bring the arms back overhead. And if you've got shoulder issues, of course, monitor and, and, and change what you need to change. Inhale, exhale, pull the arms back overhead. Get a nice stretch in the upper body. Bring your arms as far down as you like. But try not to, what we call technical Pilates term, pooch your belly up to the sky, right? Good. All right. And then inhale, bring those straight arms back up over the chest. Exhale back again, arm reaches. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Find some length in the back of the arms, maybe. I do. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back one more time. Exhale back. And then go ahead and relax your arms. Let your arms float around your body, bending your elbows. If you like, brushing your fingertips on the floor. Up and around. 
head to, to hip. If that range of motion feels okay for you, if not, if you've got shoulder issues, you may not want to bring your hands over your head quite so high, but you know that. Good. One more time up and around. And let's switch directions from hips all the way up with a little chairs in the way and around. All right. Let your fingertips brush the floor or even more if you've got more mobility in the chest and back. One more time around. Good. Excellent. And then if you find a position, go ahead and let your arms come down and re relax. Maybe take a soft bend in the elbow. Find a position or a place that feels good to have your arms. Just stretch them out, palms up or down, you choose. And then I like to rock back and forth. See, I'm trying to get another massage again. We're not really going to do any work here, just massage. So back and forth. Excellent. All right. All right. Now go ahead and bring your hands down. Keep your hands on the floor, palms down. Bring them down towards your hips. We're going to take one leg into tabletop. And now the second leg, right leg up and left leg up. Okay, hold here, hands on the floor. All right, I want to engage the abdominals here. So on the exhale, Take an inhale on the exhale, bring your toes down, and I'm only going to bring my toes down halfway. So I want to make sure that I protect my back and then bring them back up and switch sides, exhale down. And just get those abdominals fired up a little bit. If I bring my toes down too far, I and mean, you can play with it, certainly, I start to go into an arch, and I don't want to go into an arch. I want to retain the neutral spine here. Or even go a little bit more neutral, or a little bit flatter is fine, but not an arch. And keep exhaling as you bring those toes down. And again. And if you don't, don't need to have both of your hands down on the floor, you're welcome to come to your elbows. That's going to offer a little more challenge. Good. Keep going. A few more. Good. And one more on the right for me. Exhale. One more on the left. Good. Now both legs in tabletop. Reset. I'm going to reset your neck. Reset your shoulders. Both legs, uh, knees together. Bring both legs down now. Halfway is fine. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, and if you want to go to your elbows, go for it. And just two more, exhale, toes down, towards the floor. Lots of good. Focus here, good. All right, go ahead and put your feet down on the floor. And from here, bring your hands, uh, interlace your hands and fingers behind your neck. Really support your head and neck. Find some length again. Take a little pull on the base of the skull just to lengthen the neck. We're gonna do some upper ab curls here. So if you aren't one to bring your head and neck up due to neck conditions or osteoporosis, um, I'll take a look and then we, you can just go into some breathing. Otherwise, we're going to take an inhale and then an exhale, lift up into our upper ab curl. Lifting up through the middle, look down at your belly. Inhale down. Bring your head down. Good. Exhale, two, three, four, up, nice and slow. You guys are so great. Inhale, down, two, three, four. Good. And up again. Keep going. Exhale, up, up, good. Inhale, down. Make sure those elbows stay nice and wide. Up. And down. 
And keep the neck nice and long. It follows the line of the back, right? Up and down. And again, a few more times. Exhale, up. And again. And just two more. So come on up and down. Good. On the next one, come up. Lift up as high, higher, higher. If you like, go ahead and take your hands out from behind your head and reach. Bring your arms out to the sides of your legs. Reach, reach up a little higher. Breathe. Good. Grab your legs if you like. Otherwise, just have them to the side. Good. All right. Inhale, and then exhale, go ahead and roll back down. Excellent, good. All right, we're gonna move off the roller now and put it off to the side. Lie down on your back and have your, um, have your TheraBand and your ball nearby. We'll come, we'll come back to that. But for now, lie down on your back in hook line, feet flat, knees bent. And we're going to follow, uh, we're going to go forward with the upper ab curls or move on and uh, do the obliques. So you can bring your legs into tabletop or you can have your feet down. Uh, keep your right hand behind your head. Take your left arm up towards the ceiling, right? Uh, take an inhale. On the exhale, you're going to lift up and curl up towards the right, right? Left rib to right hip. Come on down and exhale back up. Stay on the same side. Inhale down. Exhale up. Looking at that right knee, make sure you're not leaning over and looking, you know, that you're really keeping the work centered and slightly off to the left. Keep going. Good. And up. And exhale as you come up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. One more on this one, hold up and reach, breathe, hold, reach to your right. Good, take an inhale. And exhale down. Guess what? We need to do the other side, right? Legs in tabletop, or if you need a break, put your feet down. Totally fine. Left hand behind your head, right arm up towards the ceiling. Good. Shoulders wide, neck long. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift up over towards the left. Reach to the outside of the left thigh. Inhale up. <laughs> exhale. Patricia's got a nice gray kitty, I think. Good. Keep going. Kitty's trying to help. Give you a little bit more work, Patricia. Good. And again. And three more. Three. And two. And this time, one, up off to the left, hold, breathe, hold, inhale, exhale, take another inhale, and then exhale, come all the way down. Excellent. Good. All right. Go ahead and shift your knees. Keep You can keep your knees bent and your hands out to the side. And if a little rotation is okay for you, shift your knees back and forth from the right to the left, left to the right. Just take a little break from the ab work because we're not done yet. Good. And again, stretch. And over to the left. All right. So if you're if you have a TheraBand or a, a stretch strap, go ahead and put it on your right foot. Okay. And 
your left leg can be uh, if you're if you're much more mobile, your left leg's probably going to be down on the straight down on the floor. I'm going to keep mine bent because as soon as I put my left leg down, my right leg goes out and it's just not pretty. So for right now, my right leg is up. I'm working on a really straight knee. So I'm going to actually start from a bent knee position and then straighten my leg up towards the ceiling and bend that right knee and straighten and bend and really straight and pushing that quad forward. Good. Pushing, pushing in on the quad to get that right knee straight. Up. And a couple more. Straighten up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. Now, keeping my shoulders, keeping our shoulders relaxed, right leg is straight. I want to bring it down towards the floor and back up. And down and up. Now, I think because I'm so tight, I, I can certainly do this without the TheraBand. I don't get nearly as much of a stretch. So, so right now I like having the, the band on the foot. Good, up and down just a couple more times. Good, and again. All right. Let's go ahead and change change sides. I'm not going to spend too much time here. So bring the band on the ball of the left, and we'll go from a bent knee to a straight on the left. And again, bend the left knee and straighten. And bend, relax the shoulders. Make sure you're not straining. Right. Another reason I like doing this with the, the TheraBand is because of the stretch. I see so many people like really pulling on the stretch straps as if, you know, I don't know, <laughs> just straining their shoulders, straining their neck. Keep going. A few more bend to straight. All right. Left leg is now straight. Straighten that left leg up. Bring the left leg down and up and down and up. And down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, down, and up. Oh, good. All right. Let's take the band off to the side. And now we're going to go through the um, famous Pilates, fi Pilates five in the order in which I learned them. So take a break. Um, my goal is always to try to st uh, to work all the way through them without taking a break, and I rarely get there. So uh, we'll see where it goes. All right. So bring your legs and knees into tabletop. Okay. Head up. If you're going to do head up, or you can have your head down on a ball. Both knees are bent. I'm going to take my right hand, my right hands around my right, my right hands, my hands around my right knee, right bent knee. Straighten the left leg. Good. And then switch. Switch. Good. Switch. So, yep, classically the way I learned it is the opposite hand. So left hand is in the inside of the knee. Right hand is on the outside of the ankle to keep the legs tracking and moving from hip to knee to ankle. Good. Keep going. All right. I like to point my toes as I reach out. really helps me find length. And again, pointing the toes, go pretty slow, actually, if you don't mind. Point your toes or flex your feet. Point, flex, but I like point. Eight, nine, and ten. Good, good. Now go ahead and put your hands behind your head. Same leg motion, right? It's fully supporting your head and neck. Lift up. Look towards the uh, right knee, which is bent. Straighten the left up. And then switch. And switch. And switch. Good. Make sure you don't rotate too much. Right? Make sure that you keep the work in the middle. And switch. 
and switch and switch switch good i think two more each side i don't know i'm terrible at counting good one more on the right and then the left excellent good next up is double leg stretch head up or down hands on top of your knees Take an inhale, exhale, straighten your legs out, bring your arms back behind you, inhale, arms around, take a little hip up, exhale, straighten, inhale, put the hands back on the knees, take a little hip up, exhale, straighten, inhale, hip up, exhale, straighten. When you get back to your knees, take a little hip up, there you go, exhale, you got it, like that, yep. Good, and up, exhale, ah, and two more times. One more time, so good. All right, and then legs straight up towards the ceiling, hands behind your head, lift up through the middle, Right, come into your Pilates V, heels connecting, toes pointed, our, um, elbows wide. Take an inhale on the exhale, bring your legs away a couple of inches, and, and inhale back together. You can bring your head down an inch or two as you bring your legs away from the center line. Exhale away, inhale up, exhale away, inhale up, ah, exhale away. Exhale away, and again, and two more, and in, and one more. Ah, good, I have to bring my knees into my chest. I admit it. Take a little rest. Dana's going strong. I know her. <laughs> good. All right. Single straight leg stretch. All right, so legs straight up. Up, sorry, grab the calf or the thigh, whatever works for you. Pull that right leg in. Pulse twice. Left leg goes straight. Right, switch. Switch. Good. Good, keep going a few more. Whoa. One more each side, come on. All right, excellent, knees into your chest. Rocking back and forth. Thank you for following me and going through that journey of the Pilates fives with me. Excellent, good stuff. All right, so we're gonna counter that by coming over onto, let's start coming onto all fours, onto, um, I'm gonna face this way. All fours, right? Into your quadruped position. Make sure that the back of your neck is nice and long. I'm gonna move my second camera here. Good. All right. We'll just do a little cat cow here. Elbows and wrists under your shoulders. From your neutral spine, take an inhale. Exhale, lift the belly up. Drop your, let your head follow. Inhale back to either a neutral or a little bit of an extension, whatever works for your body. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale, belly up to the spine, find that length, and inhale, and again, exhale, and inhale, nice, okay, everybody come down to your belly, so that was a little, just a little back stretch, but I want to go into some swan work, that is super important for people who are forward shouldered, as we all know. So first, bring your hand, baby swan, underneath your shoulders, right next to your arm, 
armpits, I guess. Elbows up high. Forehead either down on the floor or just an inch or two, an inch or so up. Okay. Find the length in your lumbar spine before we begin by pressing your pubic bone down. Mm -hmm. All right. And then on the exhale, take an inhale, exhale. Begin to lift your chest up just, just as far as you can, really finding the work in the upper back. So we're not, not yet going into a back stretch, at least not for me. It's more work, right? Head, head and chest back down. Inhale, exhale, back up and down and one more time like that go ahead and come up and what i like to do here to really help my clients find those upper back muscles is when you're in that position press your fingertips and and palms down as if you're trying to pull yourself forward you're not really going to pull yourself forward but it really helps engage those muscles around the upper uh, thoracic spine and then come down, head down. And then from here, forehead down, bring your hands down by your hips, palms facing the floor, okay? And press your pubic bone down. And now we're going to come into a swan, lifting the arms up first, just over um, a little higher than your hips, and then begin to lift your chest up. All right, remember, keep the pubic bone down and abs lifted. Right, come up and then down. And then inhale, exhale, come up again. And then down. Good. Lift those arms up a little higher. Get those muscles around the thoracic spine really working. Lift them up higher, Genevieve. Yep. Unless you don't want to, of course. But yeah, up Kind of like that exercise we do, guys, at the, um, on the ball, right? It reminds me of the, I think it's the A, right, where you lift the arms up. Good. One more time up. Really stretch those fingertips. Hold up fingertips towards your feet. Good. And then come back down. All right, let's move on. Um, stay on your stomach and bring one hand on top of the other. Stretch your legs out long, right? So work in the glutes here, okay? Press the pubic bone down. Lift both legs up and down. Up and down. Up and down. A little bit of a relief for, my, for our upper bodies. But even here, try to make sure that your neck is, is relaxing but long, right? You're not doing anything strange with it. Sometimes I see people lip looking up in front of them when they really can just work on the, the length of the neck. So keep lifting the legs up and down. Keep your knees perfectly straight, right? So it doesn't matter how big, how high you lift them. Good. Up and down. It can be really small. Keep going. A couple more. All right. Okay, good. All right. In the spirit of, of watching our time, we're going to go straight to glute squeezes. So bend your knees and bring your heels together. Right? Pubic bone down. Press. Start by pressing the heels together. See if you can get some active engagement in your glutes. Right? And then if it's permissible on your butt for your body, lift your thighs up as you squeeze those heels together. Lift and squeeze. Or squeeze and lift. Good. Make sure you keep length in the lumbar spine. It doesn't hurt your back. Good. Couple more. Excellent. Squeeze those heels together. Feet are flexed. Soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. That's it. Just two more. Up and up. Good. All right. Go ahead and come back. Push yourself back into a child's pose. Just stretch out your back. Good. All right. 
So come to a, a seated position <clears throat> with your legs out in front of you. And I'm, I'm going to suggest we do some straight leg roll-ups. So we don't do those a lot in our classes at the studio, as we all know. Um, if this doesn't work for you, then, of course, just go back to some stretches or upper ab curls. But um, I like to do them. I get a little stretch, and it's kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and start lying down on my back. Join me if you like. All right. Bring my hands, uh, arms up overhead. Good, nice, good. All right, straight leg roll ups. Take an inhale. On the exhale, curling up from your lower be belly to your upper abdominals. Good, let your cervical spine follow. Reach forward. And here I like to get a little back stretch. So it kind of combines, pull my belly into my back. And for me, I actually can get a hamstring stretch here too. All right. And then sit up nice and tall. So that's super tall in the neutral spine. Take an inhale and then exhale, roll all the way back down. Good. Nice and slow all the way back down. And then with, you can bring your arms overhead um, and then bring them back up over your chest. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up again into your roll up. Curl, 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 use those abdominals. Press the belly into the spine, get a nice back stretch. And then go ahead and sit up tall. Take an inhale, exhale, begin to roll back down. Good, and arms overhead. Inhale, bring them back over your chest. And then on the next exhale, curl up. Curling forward, belly into my spine. Stretching forward, I get a stretch in my shoulders. And then sit up tall. Good, all right, we'll just do a few of those. We're starting to... I had too much planned. We're starting to run out of time. Okay, so we're gonna move on. So sitting right, stay right where you are in a seated position, legs outstretched, okay? Hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards your body. If your, rest, if your wrists are too or sensitive, go ahead and bring your arms, fingers out to the side. But otherwise, we're gonna come into control back. So take an inhale, exhale, lift up. Open up the chest. That's why I like this one. It's hard. I, like, I think it's hard. Good. And lift up. Good. You can have your knees bent. And then tap your tail down. We're going to go down and up a few times. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up with your glutes. Open up your chest. Work that upper body. Press the heels in. And then bring your hips back down. And back up. Up, 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 up. And then hips back down. On the next one, we're going to try to come up. Well, I'm going to come up. And then try to lift one of your legs up. Good. And put it down. It's a lot of hamstring work. And I can only do it on one side myself. So try to lift the other leg up. Oof, and down. Good. Good, up, lift the hips up higher, higher one more time, and then press your tail down. Excellent work. Nice work, guys. All right, so um, one other thing I like to do, so we'll only do a few reps, and then we'll finish with hips on the roller for stretching. So this is something that I don't do much with my clients, and I'm really tight, so I'm going to roll my – uh, roll my mat up, bring my legs out about the width of the mat. We're going to do um, spine twist, okay? All right. So legs can be straight if you can sit up tall without – bye. 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 If you can sit up tall or you can bend your knees, as I have a soft bend in my knee, 
arms out to the side below shoulder level, right? Take an inhale. On the exhale, you're going to twist from the obliques over to the right. And pulse once, twice, twice. Good. Come back to the center. Inhale, exhale, pulse to the other side. And back to the center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Really working from the obliques, not, not tweaking the shoulders. We're not rotating the head in a crazy way. Good. And then left to the center. One more time to the right. In the center. And then exhale to the left. And the center. Good. Okay. So let's do some stretching. My favorite thing. All right. So I like to do most of my leg stretches with my feet on the, my feet, my um, hips on the roller. Um, so you, you're welcome to do that or not. And I'll tell you as we go through, it's much less strain on my neck as a tight person. <laughs> so if you're really mobile and you prefer not to use the roller, you can do the same sort of, well, mostly let's come on the roller, everybody for the hip flexor stretch. That's the first one that you do need the roller for. Okay, so you're on the roller, belly's dropping. Grab your right knee and pull it in towards your chest. Keep that belly dropping and straighten your left leg out and drop it down to the floor or towards the floor. So we're looking for a stretch in the left hip flexor. And I, I can't really reach the floor, this tight person that I am. So, but I, I do like to put my hand on my left thigh. And that's where you can use the kitty if the kitty would sit there, Patricia. And, <laughs> um, press down a little bit to really get some opening in that hip flexor. And breathe. Stretch. Good. Another breath here or so. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Straighten your right leg out towards the floor. All right, dropping the belly, make sure that you keep that opposition. And if you want to put your hand on your thigh to increase that stretch, find that length, go for it. Stretch. Good. All right, good. Go ahead and bring both the knees in. And now straighten the right leg out. If you want to use a TheraBand or the strap, go for it. Put it on your right foot before you straighten your leg. And then the left leg, you know, you can have the left leg down towards the floor. And I'll tell you, um, for me, I can't quite reach the floor because I don't have that flexibility. So I tend to just keep my left leg up in tabletop so I don't have to think about it. But I'll leave it to you to decide what works best for you. And then go ahead and stretch that hamstring and calf. Sometimes, uh, go ahead and point your toes and flex the foot on the extended leg. And look at you. Some people, I see some people can bring their, their feet all the way almost to their head. <laughs> oh, isn't it funny? Isn't it great that we're all so different? And then straighten. Yep. Good. All right. Let's take that right ankle and put it over the left thigh. And we'll go to the left leg in a second. And get a figure four stretch. Okay. And then if you want, you can thread your hands and bring them to the back of the left side. So this is the one that inspired me to volunteer to teach because... When 
um, people do this flat on the floor without the roller. My neck goes into craziness. I can't keep my head down. I have to lift my head up because my back is too tight to do it the, the other way. And I end up just almost foregoing the hip stretch because it's just not comfortable. So other than being on the roller, which is great, and it's been great for classes, um, for the mat classes, it, I just lie on the floor without the roller and put my, my left foot up against the wall and uh, hang in that most nights, believe it or not. And another breath in that right hip. That feels so good. All right, let's switch sides. All right, so it's straighten the left leg up, strap or not. Get a stretch in that left hamstring. Good. You can hold on the calf or as we did on the other side, as I did, put a strap around your foot. A lot of my clients like to do that. And stretch and breathe. Point the toes on the extended leg and flex if you like. Point and flex and point and flex. Good. All right, and let's take one final hip stretch. So bring the left ankle onto the right thigh when you're ready and thread your hands through behind the right thigh. That feels good for you. And bring that right thigh in towards your chest and breathe through the hip stretch. And another couple breaths. Inhale and exhale. And again. All right, go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Press the roller away. Come to a, just come to a seated position when you're ready. And just take one inhale, inhale up. And exhale down. And thank you. That's that's it for today. Thank you for playing. Yeah, thank you. Namaste. Thank you. You killed me. That was my fourth series of five today. <laughs> so. Well, that's what I that's what I said to Zaina earlier. I said some of you might be a little. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't let you but take it was a break. Great. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Good. So thank you so much. It was great. To, it was great to share. Thank all you, right. Kim. Okay. And bye. Hopefully, we'll see you all again next week if you can. And bring a, bring somebody else that you know. Let them get involved. Love to have more. And then if there's topics that you guys are interested in, um, that you want little tidbits on, I'm happy to do that. So feel free to send us a message if you want a tidbit on something or a topic mm -hmm. in a class, and we'll we'll address that. And then um, if anyone wants to volunteer to be the teacher next week, that would be fabulous as well. Allison, are you volunteering? Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll volunteer next week. All right. We get to see Miss Allison and Laura teach us something really cool. And so, yeah, any questions, ideas to open this up to the Pilates community of instructors and just share ideas, share thoughts, share hard, difficult cases so the I, the way we named it Pilates Rounds because rounds are what we do in the hospitals when I would work in the hospitals. With the, there's always people from different specialties all gathering together just discussing patients, ideas. Um, so I thought that it would be nice to be able to do that with a group of Pilates instructors. So that's what we're trying to develop here. So we love having you guys here. And then, um, yeah, keep, keep telling people about it and we'll grow the group. The group's about 50 members strong so that's great and so we'll just try and keep adding to it thank you so much mm -hmm.